as Sean Diddy Combs sits behind bars awaiting trial on federal sex trafficking and racketeering charges, we take a deep dive into the growing list of high-profile celebrities charged with sexual misconduct. In a world where celebrities have weird parties where the nastiest thing you can imagine takes place, Will Smith is the next elite getting exposed as evidence of him getting down and dirty with Diddy surfaces. This time, it's not the feds exposing Smith and Diddy, but Diddy's personal bodyguard who claims to have first-hand information on all the wild things that went down at Diddy's freak-offs. Because if he get caught in there, he, he gonna be as truthful as possible. You understand? He's gonna give them enough information whereas that it's gonna make him look like the choir boy. Since Diddy's freaky sex life got exposed online, there has been a lot of information flying around the internet making it hard to decipher what is fact and fiction. To make sure we don't get caught up in conspiracy theories and outright lies, it's good to have a credible source who witnessed everything. And this is where Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, comes in. When he lived in Cali and Miami, he turned into Godzilla. I would see him talk about how he using drugs. He was never like that, smoking cigarettes, smoking and everything like that, he turned into something that you could consider a monster, bruh. Then he started doing things to people, you understand, that he learned. That's a learned behavior, bruh. Gene served as part of Diddy's protection detail for several years, and in that time, he saw the music mogul go from a regular music exec to an absolute monster who did things you could never imagine. But months before Gene Deal could expose Diddy's hidden relationship with Will Smith, someone had been shedding light on the whole situation, and nobody believed her. Hey, young man! <laughs> Come on over! My husband just wants to touch you for a little while on camera. I promise you, you won't feel a thing. Sniff this! <laughs> Her name is Jaguar Wright, and she was one of the first individuals to expose Diddy for being in gay relationships with men like Will Smith. They're both bisexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mills. <laughs> Bashir Gray. According to Wright, Diddy threw secret lavish parties where he would indulge in various gay acts with all sorts of men from giving f to straight up having orgies with other men, and they didn't just do it with older rich men. They also tried to bring in young men who wanted to make a name in Hollywood or the music industry. Drugs were found in their system. It's a drug called xylazine or trank, which is known as a horse tranquilizer. Can you tell me some of the things that is happening to these people after they take trank? Well, let's be clear, they didn't take it. They were, they were, it was laced in something, in some drink they were given from thereafter, and they wake up the next morning uh, injured uh, in their private areas, wondering what happened. To make sure these kids did everything they wanted, Diddy and his made use of drugs like Molly and Rufies to ensure that the young men couldn't resist, and more importantly, they would forget most of the things done to them. Jaguar Wright alleges that among the older men who connived with Diddy, Will Smith was by far the most connected and the one who loved these sorts of parties the most. In Wright's rant about Will Smith being bisexual, she name-drops other popular individuals who have been known to orbit the Smith family, and even though we won't get into that now, those names become a lot more important later in the video. Before we could even unpack what Jaguar Wright dropped on us, a woman named Trisha Paytas dropped a bomb on us about Will Smith's love for gay s The most disturbing part of Trisha's allegation against Will Smith was the fact that she claimed Smith forcefully had sex with the male dancer. At the time the allegation surfaced, it felt like one of those movie scenes where the rich and powerful individual tries to perform sexual acts with someone, and once they get rebuffed, they turn to force. Trisha wasn't having it with Will Smith, and she wasn't afraid to bring Jada in on the matter. Which brings us back to Diddy's bodyguard, who says the women in their lives knew the type of freaky sh they were up to. When I threw him into the piano, Puff and Ja Rule runs out the room, Puff got his towel, jaw grabbing his towel, but they butt the f naked. We don't need to tell anyone how outrageous that sounds, because not only did Gene Deal talk about Jada's involvement in their freak-offs, but he also spoke about Jada trying to recruit other women for their parties. And in this case, the woman is Jennifer Lopez. Only someone who is knee-deep in the operation would have the balls to recruit someone like Jennifer Lopez due to how much influence she holds. 
and in the off chance that Gene Deal is making up the allegation about Will Smith's love for gay parties, someone from Smith's camp threw him under the bus just last year. The reason Will responded, the reason why Jada responded, because they know it's true. Will's never responded. Mm -hmm. And they responded in less than nine hours. They did. That was a fast response. That was a, because he know what I saw in that dressing room. He know other things that I saw. This time, the whistleblower in question is Will Smith's former assistant named Bilal. And he got on a video with Tasha Kay where he revealed that he caught Will Smith bent over on a couch with Dwayne Martin. The most concerning part of Bilal's revelation is the fact that it happened sometime last year, and according to the former assistant, it was a regular occurrence. As a regular human being hearing all about Will Smith's perverted nature, you might want to believe that Bilal cooked up the stories to tarnish Will Smith's image, but the man worked for Smith for more than three decades. When someone like that says they know a thing or two about a person, you have to consider that they might be saying the truth. If you're not one to believe people like Bilal, what do you have to say about Usher Raymond? I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, uh, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. Usher is a superstar who came up under Diddy, and his words carry more weight because he had to spend a lot of time with Diddy while growing up. This is what Gene Deal had to say about Diddy sending Usher to the hospital years back. It was one of those type of situations. And when probably say, yo, man, I don't F with them niggas. Man, I'm getting out that industry and everything like that. You know, you know, Puff sent this little kid to the hospital. How he sent him to the hospital? Man, Nick was bleeding from the butt. And that's what was said. But I didn't even have a name for the kid at the time. Then you heard, and that's what happened. An allegation like that also brings us back to the names of young men mentioned by Jaguar Wright, because Usher is just one of the many young victims who might have been initiated into the gay sex cult of Hollywood's elite superstars. One name Jaguar Wright doesn't mention is Orlando Brown, and it's probably because everyone feels he is dealing with some mental issues. I got in my d mode, I'm sorry, I start licking my lip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ooshkash Kusmash. You gave me the Ooshkash Muaf, the Shushmash. Diddy. Yeah, son. I mean, I mean, you gave me the Ooshkash Mouash. I love it, yo. I love it. You gave me the Ooshkash Mouash. Mental issues aside, Brown is one of the few individuals to come out as a victim of Will Smith, and his claims are the wildest you will ever hear. Orlando Brown's major accusation is that Will Smith sexually assaulted him while he was a child, and to crown it all off, he claims Jada knew about it. This is crazy because who would have thought that someone who spent a lot of time with Smith earlier in his Hollywood career would come out to say Will Smith did unimaginable things to them, but that's not even the crazy part. At one point, Orlando Brown alleges that Will Smith is his father, and he is the reason Brown's career went downhill. There is a lot to unpack here because Orlando says a lot of things about Will Smith. And even if we want to discard his whole allegation as a fueled rant, you have to admit that it sounds like a pattern. We have two ultra-powerful celebrities who seem to be inseparable buddies who throw a lot of parties together. And to top it off, they all have a string of allegations swirling around them. You gotta tell him no. You gotta tell Diddy no. Everybody knows you gotta tell him no because if you don't tell him no, he's gonna put you in a situation where you're gonna have to say yes or no again. So just say no. Just say no. <laughs> just, just say no. That adds up to Diddy and Will Smith doing a lot of unhinged things with male prostitutes and a lot of baby oils. If they were strictly gay, we could imagine them doing their thing while other guests indulged in will acts for their pleasure, or if they were bi, it could be one giant with a lot of powerful individuals joining in on the fun. In the midst of this chaos, there has been a rumor circulating that a video from one of Diddy's freak-offs got leaked to the internet and that it showed Will Smith and Diddy doing some nasty shit. If a video like that ever gets leaked, any celebrity shown in the video would be making a dash for the border, because that's the only thing that could save them. Right now, the Smiths have been awfully quiet about the whole Diddy situation, which makes us think they are trying to distance themselves from the controversy when we know Diddy is a close friend of the family. Their attempts to run away from the scandal isn't helping, as there are a lot of fingers pointed at the family. 
with people coming out of the woodwork to expose Will Smith and Diddy's trial heating up, it feels like it's only a matter of time before we get concrete evidence of what Diddy and Will Smith did once they turned off the light. What do you guys think we will find on those tapes whenever they get leaked? And will Will Smith and his family be able to survive the backlash from being exposed?